hey guys thank you so much for watching i have headed out of not yeah i'm out of town not like far out of town but i have to go out of town to get my eyebrows done because we don't have the kind of place that i like to go to where i live um i like to get my brows threaded and we don't have a threading place where i live so anyways while i'm out here my place isn't open yet but i'm going to stop at their home depot their lowe's and their walmart to see what kind of house plants they have there um i've been seeing on the facebook plant groups that people have been finding like some incredible plants at home depot so that's what i'm most excited about and then um other people's walmart and lowe's have just like tons of plants so my local stores do not have anything like we are bare um in these stores so i'm excited i will let you guys know what i find the trunk on this my gosh it's gorgeous This one with the super dark leaves back here. That's gorgeous. an entire tray of Koya right here. Just amazing. Way to go, proven winner. I love that. It's cold. Okay, so I just got out of Home Depot and I got four plants. I'll show you them when I get home. But I just want to show you how I, I'm looking all over the place because there's a woman walking that way. So I'm distracted. Anyways, I want to show you guys how I protect my plants in the wintertime when I'm buying them. So if they're, your temperatures are, I would say, like less than 40 degrees or I mean pretty much like anything past 45 degrees is going to be, um, can harm your, potentially harm your plants. So um wrap your plants up before you bring them out of the stores if you're buying them over the winter time so i wrap mine really good so they go in initial in a, initial bag straight up then i put another bag over the top that covers the foliage and then i bag it in a bag like this so it's three bags i know you know three plastic bags however we reuse our bags for other things at home so it's like it's not a big deal to have to take tons of bags if anybody is like you know oh, plastic you know whatever so yeah so wrap them like this stick them in a bag initially straight down then you put a bag over top of the foliage and then in a separate bag all right so let's move on to the next store so i'm adding an extra stop i just realized uh, i just 
forgot that they have a Dollar Tree over here. So I'm going to check and see if they have any seeds. Um, Dollar Tree is a great place to get low cost seeds, $1.25 a pack. Um, you can't really beat that, especially if you can get it without having to order it online and pay for shipping prices. But yeah, check out Dollar Tree seeds. They germinate pretty well. I haven't had any issues that were specifically related to their seeds. So definitely check out Dollar Tree seeds. However, those stackable planters, I don't know if you guys saw my video where last year they got knocked over and many of those planters cracked. So this year I actually, what is super nice and I'll share this with you guys later on in the season, but those Dollar Tree planters, they broke and I still was able to finagle them together enough to use them for the rest of the season. But I actually won a garden tower in a giveaway um, not too long ago. So like last, I think it was last week or the week before I won, I received it and I can't do anything with it now because it's January and it's cold and we're full of snow. But I will share that with you guys later on, replanting a new tower, and it's going to be so exciting. It's actually, um, uh, I believe, Garden Tower Project, Garden Tower, Garden Tower Project. I think that's the company. Um, they just had a giveaway, and I was one of the winners, so, so excited. Anyways, I'll share that with you later, but let's go and see what they have in Dollar Tree. There she is. Here they go, the infamous stackable planters. I love these, I buy these all the time. So Dollar Tree didn't have anything that I wanted, but um, it was nice just to see that they have their stuff in stock. So now I'm going to head into Walmart and see what their plant section looks like. And I'm also going to check out their clearance section to see um, what they have. Okay, so we are out of Walmart. Walmart's plants looked okay. There, I would say about 50% of them were uh, dying or wilting, but what wasn't wilting were really great plants. Um, they looked really good. I didn't find anything that I had to take home. Um, so now I'm gonna go and see if uh, the brow place is open and get my brows done. We're at Lowe's, let's head on in.
Toya over here. I absolutely love these ginormous peace lilies. They're so beautiful. I don't have one, but I love them. This plant is so beautiful, it's taunting me. I have one at home, but it does not look this good. I want it. I want it now. Okay, so I am out of home, or where am I? Lowe's, and I got two plants, and during, like while I was filming, a lady came in there and she I'm so happy to meet her she actually was from the same town that I live in and she came up here looking for plants had the same complaint that none of our stores have any plants and we shared garden tips and plant things and it just feels so good to talk to other people who love plants love to garden love to grow um she's older and she was talking about how they put in raised garden beds and how wonderful those have been for her and her husband um, they make it so easy for you to not have to bend down to garden um, I love raised beds for that now I still am able to easily bend down and get up and do that kind of stuff but it's nice to not have to um, it's nice to have taller beds that you could pull up a little chair to sit and do what you need to do and then move on and not have to worry about bending down and not being able to get back up um we talked for a while and i'm just i'm just so grateful for the people that i'm have met or get to meet or have yet to meet on this journey who love to grow as much as i do and i feel like i could sit and talk all day about growing and I just love it okay now I'm finally gonna go get my brows done I think the store is open I actually also have to stop at Sam's Club and I have a little realization while I was out that I was supposed to grocery shop today like I was supposed to go and get some food in the house and I went and got my brows done and forgot about get or going out to get my brows done forgot that I was supposed to get food, so I need to get food too. <sighs> I was not expecting this trip to be this long, but anyways, let's go get our brows done and go to Sam's Club, and then that is probably going to be it for this, unless I stop at Target in the pet store too. I don't know. We'll see, but I, I'm ready to get home. I got to go let the dog out. <sighs> Okay, so I'm out of the brow place. They look better. Sometimes I feel like they leave them thicker. I don't know if I prefer thicker or thinner, but they look better than they did before. All right, so I'm heading home. Um, once I get there, then we'll, un, um, we'll open up these plants and I'll share them with you guys. Here's the haul. Okay, so... Let's start with the plants that we got from Home Depot first. So I got two bags. Okay, so let's get right into here. 
And you can see how I bagged everything from the store. There's the bottom. This is to protect them from the frost. And then we have the first bag here. So one of the things that I was really impressed with at this Home Depot um, was that I could get proven winners like houseplants in small containers like this. I thought that was really neat. They had a couple of stands that had these smaller plants and these two are ferns. This one is twisty twirly whirly fern which is super cute and then this one is a button fern i believe cute as a button these are so cute i hope i can keep them alive ferns are notoriously difficult um, for me and it's a matter of moisture and humidity so um with my whole house humidifier hopefully these guys will be happy Okay, so let's open up the second bag. Come on. And it's packaged exactly the same way. Three bags. Come on, buddy. These are so pretty. Okay. So I got two of these syngoniums. My goal is to pot these two together to make a big lush plant. I think this would be so cute, um, like sitting on a table or, you know, near a window. I think these will be so pretty. It says they are syngonium neon. I don't know if that's quite right. I'm not a syngonium um, expert. Expert's not a great word, but I'm not um, well versed on syngoniums to be able to identify them. But these are super pretty. They've got the pink leaves. They're nice, full little plants. Um, I'm pretty happy with them. Okay, here's the first. This one's actually on its side. Okay. This one was wrapped a little differently because it was so small and it was just one plant in the bag. So look at this. Gorgeous begonia. So pretty. It's in, it's in a little bit of distress. Um, typically I would ask for a um, discount for something like this, but there wasn't really anybody around in the garden center or where the houseplants were, so I just got it. Um, I plan to propagate this uh, and see if how that goes, but I'm really excited. I think this begonia is super pretty. Um, I've been watching uh, Martha Stewart on the Roku uh, channel, and she has a show on there, and she was, one of the episodes was uh, featuring her begonias and propagation and all that, and I just like, I gotta try I gotta try this type of begonia. Um, I do have other begonias in my collection that I um, am really good with, but a lot of times th this type of begonia is difficult for me to keep. So I'm super good with the with the cane begonias, but these guys are a little bit different in care. Okay, so the last plant I got is one that I already have and that I probably shouldn't have gotten. However, the one that I have isn't as big as this one. So, of course I had to get this. Here's the hanging plant. And then I took a bag, popped a hole in it, and made a little top. Look at this. So gorgeous. Look at that. Bilobata. Hoya Bilobata. Bilobata. Look how pretty that is. So
so gorgeous. I had to get this. Now this plant right here is, the soil is very moist. Um, so I won't be watering this for quite some time, probably like a month and a half or so, because this is so heavy. Um, I feel like when the growers ship their plants, they give them a full watering. And I'll, I'll, if, when they ship them up here to Ohio on, and even farther, um, these plants aren't getting like the light and the wind and the more, you know what I mean? So like, it's gonna be difficult for this plant um, to suck up all of that moisture, but I'm gonna give it a high light spot and a spot that has um, decent airflow to help with that. Look at that. Now let me show you guys the one that I already have so you can know why I got this one. So now you understand why I had to get this big beauty right here. Cause I've got this little teeny one. And this one, like I keep my Hoyas on the drier side. Um, I allow them to dry out fully before I give them a water. This one actually needs a water, uh, but I got this from Kroger last year, probably last winter, and they had over, it was overwatered. I don't think they water their plants at all, um, not the plants inside the store. So this one came overwatered. Um, I bought it, brought it home. It struggled super hard, um, lost a lot of foliage. So this is like its comeback, um, but it's beautiful. I got this because I, tend to buy duplicates of plants when I have like a smaller one at home and I want to see something that looks more fuller and mature I'll buy the bigger plant but yeah this this baby's gorgeous look at that and another thing that I do is with these hanging baskets if they come over watered I take off the bottom tray that holds water so like you'll see this one is missing its bottom tray, which makes it easier for airflow to get uh, up to the roots and help that soil dry out. So I'll do the same with this one. I'll pull off that bottom uh, catch-all watering tray, and then I will probably hang it up somewhere. It's going to get the airflow. Um, our house is super dry right now in the winter, so I see no problem with this plant being able to um, dry completely out as it needs to um, at least dry down some and then um, yeah and then it should be good to go thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed the trips through all of these stores and let me know if you guys have any questions I'll see you in the next video bye